All right. Well, for those of you that were with me earlier, I'm back again. <laughs> I'm going to try it again. And I, I need your help, um, please, to let me know if I'm coming through, if it's a good reception. I'm going to try this one more time. Um, doing it from my car, so it's kind of risky. Because with the reception, you never know what you're going to get. But... I know that the Lord has given me this word and I want to release it to you uh, with the on with the authenticity and the passion in which he gave it to me uh, I know that it is a word that is in season and a word that will bless you so if you don't mind um, sharing this with someone that you know that is in a place right now uh, that need a word from the Lord I would uh, greatly appreciate it I know many of you are probably uh, coming just letting out of service but I don't plan to hold you long just want to share this with you as God gave it to me so please say hello so I'll know that my reception is good. I had to drive off from the place that I was at, get to another place so that I can uh, be here. So can you all hear me? Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Somebody please let me know you can hear me. Uh, this will be my third attempt. <laughs> this will be my third attempt. Oh, bless God. I got an okay. I can, I can hear you. Okay. First, I want to, because uh, I think I see Pastor Pitts. I want to thank you, man of God, uh, for releasing the word. And I and I and I want to say this right now publicly because I don't know how long you'll be able to stay with me. But the Lord spoke to me this morning. Pastor Pitts, if you're still here, just say I'm here. Because I want to confirm something that you said. I want to I want to confirm something that you said. My God, I see you all are sharing this. That's that's exciting because it is a word from the Lord. God spoke to me this morning when I when I went to drop off my daughter. I got home and began to just lay out before the Lord. And he said, I want you to go to the upper room. And he showed me your face. And I said, okay. And as I was laying there, this is why you need a true prophet in your life understand what I'm saying and I don't make no apologies for what I'm saying this is why you need a true authentic prophet in your life not somebody that's going to prophesy to you because you didn't sold into their ministry stay focused okay so as I laid on my face before the Lord this morning and he said, go to the upper room because there is a word for you. I was like, okay, God. I was also inquiring of the Lord about my ministry. And, and in the way that God has been speaking to me about moving in my ministry. And the word of God was on point with the upper room this morning not just the prophecy the word period was a solid word from God if you if you go Google or uh, if you go on Facebook uh, type in upper room of Indianapolis and hear the word today I guarantee you it's gonna bless you so he was going forth in the word and and I mean I'm receiving just by him speaking the word that God gave him to speak to the body. 
Understand, people of God, don't be prophet junkies where a prophet got to call you by your name in order for you to receive a word. Listen, when that man and that woman of God get up in the pulpit and release a word, that's prophecy right there. But too many of us are, wait, are waiting on them to call us our name and give us the rundown and, and tell us detail by detail. Listen, anytime your pastor, woman of God, man of God, get up and speak the word, that is prophetic right there. You got to be able to discern that that word is speaking to you right there in that moment. They ain't got to call your name. Get off of that. And the man of God said, he said, get off of milk. He said milk, but in my spirit, I said, get off the tit. Yeah, get the titty out your mouth and begin to, I did say that, get the tit out your mouth and be able to eat meat. So let me get back. And he was, he was given the word and I'm just receiving by the word that he's, he's giving. But then he said to me, he said, woman of God, he said, the Lord is the Lord uh, says to you, uh, gird up, uh, tighten up, mount up, load up, you know, something to that effect. And he says, I see Jacob's ladder, up, uh, angels descending and angels ascending. Listen, when he said that, I could have took off right then because he had no idea that just a couple of no, it, it hasn't even been longer than two weeks. Just about a week ago, God was speaking to me about Jacob's ladder. And then he also said, there's an open heaven over you. He said, the blessings upon blessings is coming into you, coming into you in this season. But this is it, uh, prophetess Trina, that did it for me. He said, the open heaven is when the blessings come down. He said, you're going to pray up the blessings and God is going to release breakthrough for the people. Prophetess Trina, because I can probably only tell you right, right here. And, and Shanae, what that meant to me was volumes because my God, just before I came to his church, God was speaking to me saying, I'm going to use you to deliver my people. Odabashaya. My God, my God, I don't have no cotton candy for you. I don't have no million dollars to decree over your life. I don't have no husband to give you. I don't have no wife to give you. But what God is going to give you through me is your deliverance. Your deliverance, your breakthrough. My God, when that man said that, I knew exactly what God was saying to me. I knew what exactly God was saying to me. My God, my God, my God. And I and I almost could have just fell out on the floor. My God, because it's not about me having a prophetic word in my mouth to prophesy to you. Listen, I can prophesy. I got people on here that can tell you that I've given a word and it, the word came to pass. I ain't interested in that. I'm interested in delivering your soul. My God, from a burning hell, Kasoko Tabasha. I'm interested, my God, in delivering you and your household from generational curses. Pastor Pitts, are you still here? I am interested, my God, to deliver, my God, the people of God. The people of God need deliverance? Yeah, you're right. We do need deliverance. There are some demons that are just that are just oppressing the people of God. And when that man released that word on me, I knew what God was saying. I'm not interested in, de in delivering a word of prophecy to you about your next car, about your next house, about your promote. Forget all that. Because when you leave here, where are you going to spend eternity? Where are you going to spend eternity? 
This is why I couldn't, this is why I couldn't do this in my house. Because my God, they probably call the cops on me. I don't care about your money. I don't care about your bank account. I don't care about your baby's daddy. I don't care about your papers. I don't care about your court case. I don't care nothing about that. I am concerned about your soul and where your children are headed and where your grandchildren are headed. That's what God spoke to me today through Pastor Pitts. He said that when you speak, the open heaven that is released over you, the open heaven that is over you, God is going to use that to speak breakthrough on the people. And that's why I tagged you in this video, Pastor Pitts, because you know I don't normally tag you, but I had to tag you and I, and I wanted to let you know publicly that you heard from God. Will I give you a prophetic word about material things? Okay, maybe. But that is not my assignment in this season. That is not my assignment in this season. So if you're looking for that, when you see me come on, do not stay on because I'm after the devil. My Toshanda Vasaya. I'm after the devil. I'm after the demon. I'm after the witch. That's been sitting up praying against you. Sitting up releasing word curses against your family. I'm after that demon that's on your bloodline. I'm after. My God. I'm after that devil. I'm after that warlock. And by the power of the Holy Ghost that is in me, I kill that thing. I kill the Leviathan spirit that's been going up and through your bloodline for generations. So, Pastor Pitts, Pastor Pitts, Honda Vasataya, I honor you today. Kesoko Tayava Sakaye, Dendo Ranava Sanda, I honor you today for the word that you release out of your mouth from God. Oh, my God. Mande de Robo Hoshaya. Thank you, Jesus. Hell yeah, God. Hallelujah. And, I, and, and, it, and it was, it was, Right before I went to his church to minister, that's probably been three weeks ago, right before I went to his church to minister, I said, God, I said, do I have the permission? I said, do I have the permission to use fire? Pastor Pitts, you know I love you. My God, hallelujah. I said, God, do I have the permission to, to carry the fire. My God. I said, do I have permission to carry the fire? He said, daughter, you have permission. Oh my God. To carry the fire. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In this y'all. I, my God. And, and, and also as, as Pat, my God, as Pastor Pitts, I couldn't hold it no longer, right? I, I mean, I'm trying to act right, but I couldn't hold that thing no longer. I had to give God the praise. I had to give God the glory. And I just started shouting because I knew that I couldn't go back home. You know, I couldn't go home and do what I wanted to do. So I had the opportunity right there to break out in praise. My God, and the hallelujahs that just came up out of my spirit. My God, the hallelujahs that just came up out of my spirit. My God, I said the hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. The hallelujah that came up out of my spirit. My God, oh Lord, he just, he, he, he didn't even stop. 
he didn't even stop me. He just, he just let me praise God. He told the people that they needed to, you know, go ahead and praise God too. And listen, it didn't even matter. I didn't even care what they did. They could have locked up the door. Just let me get it out because I live in that apartment. I can't sometimes praise God, holler out like I want to. I have to get a pillar and put my mouth in the pillar, my face in the pillar, but my house is on the way. I prophesy to you today, girl, my God, that your house is on the way. Oh my God, my God, I prophesy to you today that your house is on the way, my God. Hallelujah, keys are being released to me, my God. Glory to God, somebody gonna put some keys in my hand for a house. Glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God, honey, hallelujah. And so I had to come here and, and give you that word. So again, Pastor Pitts, I bless you. I honor you. I thank God for you releasing that word. And I wanted you to know what that word meant and how significant it was when you released it. Now, my caption said that God said no weapon. God spoke this all to me before I went to Pastor Pitts Church. That's why I was running a little late. But I got there on time when God wanted me to get there. The word says that he told me in my spirit as I was laid out on my bed. Look, y'all, I came, I came even with my laptop. <laughs> I came even with my laptop. I came even with my laptop because as I laid there on that floor, on the side of my bed, my God, hallelujah, glory to God. And Pastor Pitts... My God, eyes have not seen. That, that's for you. That's for you. I ain't talking to the other people right now. I'm talking to you. Eyes have not seen. Huh? Ears have not heard. Good God Almighty. Oh, my God. What? Can y'all rejoice with the man of God that's receiving a word right now? What? What the Lord has in store for you? My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Eyes have not seen. You thought you seen it in those days. That was just preparation, baby. That was preparation, Pastor Pitts. All the days that you did and all the ministry that you did with TVN, that was just preparation. Oh, my God. My God, Prophetess Trina, the Lord says to tell him, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. My God, they counted you out. My God, hallelujah, what the Lord has in store for you. And the devil, the devil is hating and will continue to hate. Thank you, Trina. Oh, hey, Trina. Thank you, Trina. My God, the devil will hate the day he put his hand. He put his hand and his, and his, and his mouth against you. Because I heard God say he's going to give you a double for your shame. How? He's giving you a double for your shame, Pastor Pitts. Double for your shame. Ooh. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Your prophetic, your prophetic, your prophetic call. And it is not just a gift. It is the office of the prophet. God is fine tuning it because this is the hour for you to walk in that prophetic. Not just in that building. Even when you out of the building. Because it is in the prophet's mouth. My God, that is the next steps of the people. I'm going to say it again. Calm down, girl. I said it is in the prophet's mouth where the next steps of the people of God will go. It is in the true prophet's mouth. Not the house, not the car, not the money, not the court case, but your walk, your divine steps, your next move is in the prophet's mouth. <laughs> 
That's why we can't be paid. That's why we can't be bribed. We thank you for the love gifts, huh? We thank you for the cash ups, huh? But that ain't the reason why we do this thing. We got to do it, my God, with a clean hands and a pure heart. It's going to be double for your shame, man of God. It's going to be double for your shame. It's going to be double for your shame. And listen, I'm going to just give you a pre, a pre, a pre, a preview, a preview. The, the prophetic call, uh, the, the prophetic office is not the only office that you are called to walk in. I'll say it. The prophetic call, the office of the prophet is not the only prophet, is not the only gift that you are called to walk in an office. I'm telling you, you got to go look up upper room in Indianapolis and look at the word that came forth today. And it ain't for the weak and feeble. Glory to God. So God gave me that word, no weapon. But I got to read this to you out of Isaiah, Isaiah 54 and 11. I'm going to start at 11. But I'm reading it to you in the Amplified. I brought my, I don't usually do it, but I had to bring my laptop with me today when I came to your church, Prof, uh, Pastor Pitts, and I left it in the car, but I knew I was going to pull it out. And here we go. Thank God for, for, for um, hot spots. Isaiah 54, 11. Afflicted city, stormed, battered, unpitted. I'm about to rebuild you with stones of turquoise. Y'all, listen, listen. If you one of them milk babies, you ain't gonna be able to catch this. And if you offended, I mean to offend the hell out of you. You understand me? Because we don't have no more time to be giving you lollipops and, and, and popcorn and bum buns and Coke soda and, and diet soda. We ain't got no more time for that. The prophet got to show up on the scene to cut some of y'all. The prophet got to show up on the scene to stab some of y'all in the spirit because you're full of poison. You're full of nothing but 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 cheap stuff. You're full of nothing but 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 dangerous stuff. You're not full of any substance. So the prophet in this hour is showing up to kill. My God is showing up to gut you. Is shodasa. I know you don't like that because you grown and I'm saying and I know I'm saying no boo. You need to get that hell out of you. You need to get them demons off of your bloodline. This is why the demon. My God is so is so hard on people nowadays because you have become so comfortable with him but the prophet shows up now to show you what God is saying in this hour hallelujah glory to God hallelujah and so it says I'm about to rebuild you with stones a turquoise again if you ain't got ears to hear if you're a weak link Huh? No, no. Why are you talking about the people? Problem? I'm not talking about you. You've been saved too long to still be drinking milk and Similac. And we need to get you in and just put you in, pap you so you can burp. I don't have time for that anymore. I'm about to rebuild you with stones, a turquoise. Lay your foundation with sapphires. Construct your towers with rubies. Where are you reading, woman of God? Isaiah 54, 11 in the Message Bible. Lay your foundation with sapphires. Construct your towers with rubies. I ain't know that word said all that. Just hold on. You're going to know where I'm talking about. Just hold on. Your gates with jewels and your walls with precious stones. Listen, y'all should be going just slap crazy right now. If you understood what God is saying to you right now, instead of you, instead of you crying and sucking on your thumb and rocking in a corner, woman of God, you being hard. I am being hard because we have been too soft. And as Pastor Pitts put it this morning, the church has been silent, quiet as a church mouse. Ain't saying nothing all because we too afraid that people will empty out of our church all because we too afraid that people will stop giving their tithes and now baby keep your tithe and your offering. God got a solution for that. He said, I'll put holes in your pocket. 
good God Almighty. Kodavashaya. He said, I put holes in your money, put holes in your pocket. So hold on to it because we're preaching a word like this. But for those of you that can hear what God is saying to you, he's trying to get you to mount up. He's trying to get you to realize that he has not left you. He's never left you. Listen to this. All your children will have God for their teacher. Come on, I'm reading to you. I'm reading to you. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. My phone is on do not disturb, too much. I don't even know how that got through. Just distractions, but I bind the spirit of distraction. Pray people, pray people of God, pray people of God, because I know what I heard God say, pray. I got my phone on do not disturb, and it's still coming through. The devil is a lie. Now, I don't go, I don't, you know, call everything spiritual, but I know I put my phone on do not disturb. Listen to this. All your children will have God for their teacher. Uh-huh. Here I come. You ready? I don't care if you ain't ready. I don't care if you're not ready. SpongeBob, not your children. Not, not your children's teacher. Blue's Clues, not your children's teacher. Hmm, what's another one? Loud House, not your children's teacher. Not, not your children's teacher. Not your children's teacher. Loud House, not your children's Disney, not your children. It said, all your children will have God as their teacher. Come on, Shanae. Write the word, woman of God. Write it. He said, all your children will have God for their teacher. Good God Almighty. What a mentor for your children. That's what the Bible said. Good God Almighty. I said, that's what the Bible said. God will be the mentor of your children. Not Michael B. Jordan, not Michael A. Jordan. My God, God will be the mentor for your children. Not Superman who's about to be bisexual. The devil is a fool and a liar. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Not your teacher that's living a homosexual lifestyle. I did say that and I don't take it back. I said God will be the mentor for your children. That's what the Bible said. I know you didn't know it was in there because because we hardly ever read it, Trina. We we hardly ever we hardly ever read the word, Trina. We only reading it when when we in hard places, when we when when our back is up against the wall, and when we fretting and everything. On the word is telling us, fret not. Listen, it said you'll be built solid, grounded in righteousness. Good God Almighty. We don't like righteousness, prophetess Trina. We don't like, the people of God don't like righteousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you want to lay up, you want to lay up with your significant other and, and still think that you can give praises unto God on the praise team. You want to lay up. I don't care. Click me off. I do not care. I do not, read my lips. I do not care care. You want to lay up with somebody and still think that you can serve in position, in leadership under God. And this word said you will be built solid. Hmm? Grounded in righteousness. Well, what did righteousness mean, prophet? Righteousness means to be in right standing with God. You cannot, you ready for this? I know you're not, but here I come. You cannot be in righteousness, in right standing, and you shacking. Well, I, I, okay, so let me, let me, let me come for you this way. You cannot be in righteousness and you married, but you separated and you seeing other people. Uh-huh. I did say that with your saved, sanctified self. You don't like righteousness to be in right standing with God. You cannot be in righteousness, in right standing, and you burning sage, and you wearing crystals, and you got crystals all around your neck and all around you. You cannot. That is another spirit that is in your house. 
What you looking for, woman of God? Somebody after you? No, ain't nobody after me. I'm in a public place, and I know I'm just, uh, I'm just all out there. I'm just all out there. You cannot be in righteousness, in right standing with God, and you on booty calls. Hmm. You cannot. You cannot be in right standing, and you're practicing masturbation, pornography, huh? Oral sex. Ain't no sex. You cannot. I know you ain't gonna get this on Sunday morning in your church. I, I listen. Click me off. Delete. Block me if you got to. I'm telling you the truth. You cannot stand in righteousness, in right standing with God, and you're living in sin. The blessings of the Lord make me rich and add no sorrow. Yeah, baby, that's for those that are righteous. That, that, that's for the righteous. That's for the righteous. He said, you'll be built solid, grounded in righteousness. Far from any trouble. Nothing to fear. See, those of you that are still remaining, y'all the meat eaters. Did you hear what I said, Latrice? Those that are still remaining right now, y'all the y'all the meat eaters. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all the meat eaters. Cause see, we can all jump when I say no weapon, Byron. We can all jump, son, uh, Dijon. When I say no weapon, huh? We can all jump, but this right here is for meat eaters. This right here, Latrice, is for meat eaters. This ain't for the ones that's got the titty in their mouth. This is for meat eaters, Trina. This ain't the ones for the tit in their mouth. He said, far from any trouble, nothing to fear. Far from terror, it won't even come close. If anyone attacks you, prophetess Trina, don't for a moment suppose that I sent them. And if any should attack, nothing will come of it. I'm reading to you Isaiah 54, starting at verse 11 in the Message Bible. I create the blacksmith who fires up his forge and makes a weapon designed to kill. I also created the destroyer. Here you go. But no weapon that can hurt you, y'all, has ever been forged. So I'm going to say to you again, what in the world are you afraid of? I just read to you, no weapon that can hurt you has ever been forged prophetess trina i'm about to pull this wig clean off my head because i'm just about to lose it no weapon that can hurt you has ever been forged God Almighty. God. Ay, 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 ay. No weapon that has that can hurt you, that can harm you. It has it has never been made. Good God. And it will never be made. And then it says, any accuser who takes you to court will be dismissed as a liar. Y'all, I just, I, I'm about to, my head is about to pop off. I'm about to pop straight off. Any accuser who takes you to court will be dismissed as a liar. Wait, wait, wait for it. Drum roll, please. This is what God's servants can expect. Listen, 
if this thing didn't cost me so much, I'd throw it outside right now. Because I'm, I'm just done. I'll see to it that everything works out for the best. God's decree. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because if I read anything else, I'm going to throw off this wig and then it's going to go viral. But it's only going to go viral because I threw off my wig. Everybody going to everybody just going to bypass the, the fire that came out of my mouth for your situation. That thing just said, I'll see to it that everything could God. I hear you. What are you fretting about? What are you fretting about? What are you afraid of? He just said it. I didn't say it. He said it because I, I don't have that much authority. I don't, I don't have that much authority, uh, you know, with, with me. But he said, I'll see to it. Thank you, Latrice. You say your ears are open. Thank you. I, I need somebody to hear. I'll see to it that everything, Trina, everything, Trina, Trina Smith. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said, I'll see to it, Trina Smith, that everything, everything is everything. My God, everything is all things. Y'all, y'all, y'all moving slow. Y'all move, my God, Koshanda Vasaya. Y'all moving slow. You're moving slow, tapping. You're moving slow, typing. He said, everything, Trina, everything, 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 everything. He's going to see that it works out for the best. I hear Romans 8 and 28. And for we know, good God Almighty, all I got to ask you is what do you know? That was my silent scream right there. Everything, and the Bible says, Romans 8 and 28, and for we know. My question to you, Trina, is what do you know? For we know all things. Good God, my. Woo. All things, all things. Things, all things, all things, all. See, y'all should be sharing it right now. All things, all means all. The disobedient children, huh? The wayward husband, huh? The wayward wife, huh? The boss that's trying to get you fired on the job, huh? Those, those things that keep coming. All means all. Your struggles that you're struggling with. Your secret struggles that you're struggling with. Your sexual identity crisis that you're going through. All means all good god hallelujah your past huh that means all all your children's baby's daddy all 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 the things that you can't seem to get settled all things work together my god did you see that did you together together my god my god Oh, Jesus, y'all ought to be just going stone crazy right now. All things. See, these are the things right here. And then he say, work together. Did y'all, did, did you get that? I just wish I could just shake some of you all. I feel like picking you up and shaking you like a baby. Shaking you, shaking baby syndromes. Did you just hear that? Together. My God, my God, my God. I don't care if it's over here. I don't care if it's over there. I don't care if it's back there. I don't care if it's under there. I don't care if it's over there. He said all things together. Together. The lean is working together. Uh, oh, God. Together. It's working together. It's working together. And see, some of you going to have to open your mouth and say it out loud. When you see all of that stuff popping off, you got to say together. It's working together. Some of y'all too scared 
to say it, but it's working together. It's working together. It's working together. That's it, Trina. It's working together. Everything. I don't care how long he's been disobedient. Oh my God. I don't care how long he's been rebellious. I got, I don't care how long she been dating the wrong person. Oh, who is God talking to right there? I don't care. My God, how long she been working, my God, or, or in that relationship. All things going to work together. Ooh. Lord have mercy. You just got me all out here. Ooh, God. Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I don't care. I don't care how they say. Good God Almighty. Oh, my God, that they're not going to do, and they're not going to do this, and they're not going to do. I don't care. I said, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. He said all things. My God, that means that thing, too. That means her, too. That means him, too. That means all things are working together. All things. All things. And he said that to me. He, I mean... He, he added just what I added. He gave me the scripture this morning <laughs> that no weapon. But he told me when I left Pastor Pitt's church to come here and sit with you and to give you this word. I didn't know he was going to say it all like that. My God. But he, he mean what he said. All things. All things work together. No weapon. You cannot be afraid to fight in this season. Listen, I hear you, God. This season, we don't take no prisoners. Yeah, this season is not the season to be seeker friendly. The devil is a lie and a fool. I said, this is not the season to be seeker friendly. This is not the season to be seeker friendly and the devil is after your head. Like I said, I came to tell you today, I'm the prophet not to speak and not to prophesy to you about the material things. I am the prophet released in this hour to take the head off the devil that has been coming against you and your household. I am that prophet in this season that has been anointed with the spirit of Jehu. <clears throat> I said, I'm that prophet this season that's been anointed by God with the, with the spirit of Jehu to confront the spirit of Jezebel, to confront the spirit that has castrated you. God, I got to scream. I got to, I, Trina, to take the head off. Do you hear me? To take his head off. I am that prophet that has been anointed in this season. Good God Almighty. To curse the root. To curse that thing at the root. And to send it back to the sender. I'm that one this season. I'm that one this season. And if you don't understand it. Let me tell you this. Keep your mouth off of me. If you don't understand it, keep your mouth off of me. If you don't understand the assignment that I have in this season, keep your mouth off of me. Hmm? My God, my God, my God, my God. Just keep it to yourself. Just keep it to yourself. Don't even call and share it with nobody. Just, just log off and be like, you know, I don't know what she's talking about. You know, I ain't with that. And I'm, and I'm cool with that. And God, and God will be cool with that. But it'll be a dangerous thing for you to take my assignment and try to put your mouth on it. I say that with everything that's in me. I said it'll be a, it'll be a dangerous thing for you in this season to take my assignment and put your mouth on it because you don't understand it. Good God Almighty. And no, no, I ain't cursing nobody because the Bible says this. I will bless those. That's what you said, God. Your word said that the people don't read the word. The Bible said that, that, that he will bless those that bless you. That's what he told Abraham. He said, I'm going to bless those that bless you. And I'm going to curse those who curse you. So I ain't got to curse you, boo. I ain't got to curse you. I ain't got to curse you. Those that will bless me, God going to bless. My God, those that curse me, God going to take care of you, huh? I got an assignment in this season. Hallelujah. 
I've been called in this season to deal with the demonic forces that are sitting on the people of God. I've been called in this season to rebuke and to cast out demons and devils that have been hiding on your bloodline. Ah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And I've always been blessed. I got some people on here that'll tell you that they sown into my ministry and God has blessed them. My God, pass what they gave. Because it ain't about the amount, boo. It's about the heart and 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 the and the and the intent and when you gave it and how you gave it. Good God. Hallelujah. I bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, so the prophet, the prophet, at least this prophet in this season, my God, hide your demons if you don't want them. If you don't want them to be discovered, hide your demons, huh? Because I'm coming. My God, I'm coming and, and I'm coming so fierce because I know that that time is winding up. My God, let me tell you something. You're not an automatic shoe in just because you say that you saved. You got to live and walk this thing out. You are not an automatic. Let me say that clear because I want to be clear. You are not an automatic just because you say you saved. You got to walk and you got to live this thing out. I don't care who you are, bench member, priest, prophet to the 12th power, master chief prophet, apostle chief to the chiefest. I don't care who you are and what title you walk in. You are not an automatic shoe in just because of that. You got to walk and you got to, you got to live this thing out. That's why I say, daughter, Carnice, that's why I say. I don't practice what I preach. I preach what I didn't practice. I did say that. I don't preach. I don't practice what I preach. I didn't I preach what I didn't practice. I'm gonna say that one more again. I don't I don't practice what I preach. I preach what I done practice. I said that. And that's what's wrong with a lot of us. We're 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 preaching. We're, we're practicing what we didn't preach. I don't need you to all, I don't, I need you to already, I, I'm sorry. I, I need you to practice. I need you to preach what you didn't practice, not practice what you didn't preach. You know why? Because there's a difference. There's a difference, Latrice. There's a difference when, when I, when I preach to you what I practice, there's a difference, Latrice. And the difference is that means I own that. Good God. I just slayed myself in the spirit. I said, I said, the difference is I own that. Huh? It's mine. My God. And what, 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 what am I saying? When it's mine, I can now give it to you. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. What did you say, Paul? The Bible said that the man was sitting begging. My God, he wanted some money, Trina. He wanted some money. And Paul looked at him, Trina, and he said, we ain't got no silver and we ain't got no gold. He said, but that which I do have. Y'all, ooh, God help in this 2020. My God, Honda Accord, help, 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 help. He said, but that which I do have. Oh my God, what you got, Paul? He said, I got the quickening. Oh, Shakaya. Oh, Deshaun, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Cause you you stirred up something when you did that. He said, I, I got, I got, I got the power. My Honda Vashaya. He said, I got the power. He said, I got the power. He said, how you know you got the power? He said, take my hand. And when he took his hand, the Bible said that, that the man got up, he got strength in his, in his legs, in his ankles. He got strength. And why he did, why, why, why? That's because what Paul had, because Paul had that, he can now give it to him. So that's why I do not, I'm not, I do not ascribe to, to practice uh, what you preach. I ascribe to preach what you practice. 
because I, I got the right now. I got the authority to give it to you, baby. Oh, yeah, bo Shabbat. I got, I got that authority. Yeah, and I'm boasting. I sure am because I didn't pay the price to walk in this boo. Uh, can't nobody tell me what she thinks. She No, 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 no. No, let's be clear. I want to be very clear. I'm past thinking what I didn't got. Huh? Uh, you sound mighty conceited. No, I'm not conceited. Hallelujah. I'm past being convinced. I believe. Good God Almighty. Oh my Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to you got to know that you know that you know that you know what you're working with. Oh yeah, I didn't pay that price. I, I didn't I didn't pay it. I didn't I didn't pay the first deposit. Woo. I said I didn't pay the first deposit, huh? I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm past thinking, Carnice. I'm, I'm past that. Cause see, I've been around some people that was trying to, to, to dumb my anointing down, huh? I've been, I've been around some people that was trying to suppress my anointing and sit on me, and because they couldn't understand my gift and how I work, they wanted to control it and they wanted to manipulate it. But baby, I'm free now. My God, Hallelujah. And listen, before you start thinking of what you think I'm thinking about, you don't know what I'm thinking and you don't know what I'm talking. I just said what I said. I am free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I am that prophet in this hour that is anointed to deal with your demons, to, that is anointed to cast your demons out, that is anointed to cast that devil out, that is anointed to curse that spirit. That comes to, to, to sit and be against you. I'm that one. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. <laughs> I'm, I'm anointed. I had to put my phone back on. Do not disturb because I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Holy Ghost said I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet because he's telling me to really say, to really emphasize to you, to really get it in your head that, that, that these these things that you have been laboring with these things that have been tormenting you even your children god is concerned about you and your household and he wants you to know that he has sent help in this hour mm -hmm. <clears throat> I got people riding by here looking at me. I don't care. I do not care. <laughs> I don't care. They riding by trying to figure out because I'm in here hollering. They, I, I do not care. I do not care. I'm putting it on, the, on blast. I'm putting it in the atmosphere. In this season, God is delivering his people. Oh, God, I hear you. And he said, by a strong right hand. He said in this season, he is delivering his people by a strong right hand. And let me tell you this, do not get caught up in all of these theories. Do not get caught up in all of these conspiracies. Do not, people of God, get caught up in all of this politics, COVID, anti-COVID, for COVID, vaccine anti-vaccine for vaccine don't get caught up in that mess that is a distraction if you took it to god be the glory if you didn't take it to god be the i did say that i said if you took it to god be the glory and if you didn't take it to god be the glory we are not here to get caught up in that mess we are getting ready to get up out of here and if you don't be careful some of you gonna get left behind Some of you going to get left behind. Things that you don't understand, you need to pray and ask God to give you revelation. Keep your mouth off of stuff that you don't understand. You're not God. And you don't know how he's speaking to people about what he's speaking to them about. God is delivering his people, Danny. And when I tell you I heard that man say that, he said by a strong right hand. 
My God. For some of you, it's going to be quick. Huh? Shanda Basse. I said, for some of you, it's going to be quick. It's going to be quick. Good God. It's going to be quick. All you going to know, my God, is that thing is broke. All you going to know is that he's in his right mind. Huh? All you gonna know is that thing done work together. All you gonna know is that you gonna wake up one morning and the struggle is all. That's oh my God. That's all you gonna know. My God. Ooh. That's all. That's all you gonna know. And guess what? That's all you gonna need to know because he's working it out. Ooh. He's touching your children. He's delivering your children. Ooh. He's delivering your children. He's delivering your children. He's delivering your children. He's healing your children. He's healing your children. He's healing your children. And and I and I come against that demonic spirit that's been coming after your children at nighttime. I come against the terror by night. I come against the terror by night. I come against the terror by night. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This prophet is anointed by God in this season to deal with that Jezebel spirit that has castrated you. Mm. Ah, God. Oh, Lord. I've been doing a study on castration. Ooh. And you got to understand that when the Jezebel spirit, and I'm not talking about a woman. I'm not talking about a woman. I'm talking about a man and a woman. When they have that Jezebel spirit, they, they castrate you. My God, they castrate you. Ooh, da da van de veseke. God, give me strength right now. They castrate you. Kasokote yaba sataya. Jezebel, my God, come, my God, my God. The eunuchs, they were castrated. Ah, oh, my God, and and that spirit, it castrates you. What what do I mean? It means that you can only go so far in your gifting. When, when, a, when, a, when a person has a Jezebel spirit and you have gifts and you are under that ministry, they have castrated you and you can only go so far. You can't go as far as what God has showed you. You cannot reach as far as God has shown you that you will reach. Why? It's because you've been castrated. But in this hour, in this hour, God is delivering his people. And you cannot be afraid to allow God to address your demons. You cannot be afraid to allow God to expose the demons that have been taking advantage of you and holding you captive and holding your house hostage. This is the hour of your deliverance. And some of you, since I've been talking, you have already received some deliverance. And you've already received some breakthrough. So just know, when you see me come on live, I'm not that one to be prophesying to you about, about the material. He said that when you give and 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 you give in good measure, press down, shaking again. Uh, he said when you give, he's going to give back to you, huh? So you don't have to worry about that. I'm that prophet in this season to deal with the demons that have been lying low and taking advantage of you in the spirit realm. That's where God has called me. And again, I thank Pastor Bit. Pastor Pitts. If you believe this word has blessed you, share it with somebody. Put somebody's name in there. Tag somebody's name. 
Because God has said a word here today, Shanae. God has said a word here today. God has said a word here today. And I'm asking you all to pray. I'm asking you all to pray for me, pray for my ministry. Because I know that this is the season that God has called me to go forth. This is the season that he's called me to go forth. And I ain't got to be in nobody's church. I can do it right here sitting in my car or do it right sitting in my house. I'm just going to do what God say do. I thank you for your attention and for your time. <laughs> if you dare <laughs> like to sow, uh, sow into this word, <laughs> I have to laugh because it was a strong word. <laughs> If you dare, would like to sow into that, into that, uh, into that word. <laughs> the, uh, the cash app is there. I just know that God is concerned about his people, y'all. And he's not just concerned about your material things. He's concerned about your, your soul, your, your total well-being. Your total well-being. Amen. Thank you, Prophetess Trina. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is the hour for God's people to be delivered. Because listen, y'all, when he come back, He's not coming back to rescue us. We're already rescued. I need you to understand that you ain't wait. The, the second coming is not for you to be rescued. <laughs> when you accepted him as Lord and Savior and you're living a righteous life before him, you rescue right then. I decree that the blessings of the Lord is upon you. And because the Bible said that you are blessed, you cannot be cursed. And because God is the greatest power, we as the people of God will never be defeated. I love you and I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless.